this is Leah from Blue Whale Art Studio. And today I'm going to show you how to blow out an egg with one hole. You're going to need eggs, of course, a fish tank pump with a hose, needle valve or a ball valve, and those are the type that blow up your basketballs or your soccer balls, a drill, a ball burr around 3.30 seconds for a hen egg, a bleach solution, a baking solution, which we'll go over in the video, something that will fit in the hole to break up the yolk and a pipette or a syringe so that you can push the solution into the eggs. Now that all our supplies are pulled together, I'm going to start um, blowing out our eggs. I'm going to slow down the drill bit though so that it's not going at the highest speed so that I don't crack the egg. And simply taking the 330 seconds drill bit, ball burr, I drilled a hole very simply through the egg. Then I'm going to take something that I can, I call it a pokey, that I can stick inside so that I can scramble it inside the egg. And this helps with um, especially the yolk coming out of the hole. Then using the ball valve attached to the fish tank pump, you just simply put it inside the egg and you can see that I'm moving it a little bit. Um, letting some pressure build up and the yolk and the whites of the eggs just start coming out. And you're going to move, you know, feel free to move around the ball valve in there. Sometimes I push it up really close so that I can build up a little bit of pressure, but you don't want it to build up so much that it um, is going to crack the egg. The yolk part is the hardest part to come out because it's the, the densest liquid. And then sometimes you'll get um, that white skin that's inside of the egg. That will come out as well. And you're just going to keep maneuvering it around until it, you feel that it's all out. And it takes a little bit of work. Now you can use this process with ostrich eggs, ray eggs, goose eggs, um, any type of an egg. I would use a larger ball burr for the larger eggs because the yolk and everything is much thicker and harder and it would just take a long time to get them out of those eggs. But I didn't want to have a really large hole. The hole really just needs to be large enough to fit some of the liquid and the ball valve into the hole. And it should be just about done. And it is. So now that I've done the initial blowing out of the yolk and the whites of it, I take a pipette or you can take a syringe, anything so that you can get the bleach solution now into the egg. So the bleach solution is about two tablespoons of bleach to about a pint of water. And you just put enough in there so that you can mix it around, shake it out, inside because we're just trying to rinse everything out inside the egg so that you're not going to have a smell to it. I usually do this about two times, two to three times, just to make sure that it, you know, when it starts coming out clear, then I know that I've done a, a good job with it. After I've done the bleach solution, then I come in with the baking soda solution. And the baking soda solution is two tablespoons of baking soda to one half pint of hot water. And what that does is it neutralizes the bleach. So what I'm going to do is at this point, I'm going to speed up the video. While we're in fast mode with um, finishing up with the bleach solution and the baking soda solution, I wanted to share with you that at the end of the video is a close up of how I assembled the needle valve to the fish tank pump. All of the parts that I used, I found at my local hardware store. So um, if you have any questions, I'm sure there's someone there that can help you connect those up. There's our egg with our one hole all ready to decorate. And the needle valve and the way we connected it to the fish tank pump hose is right there. And I'd like to thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to watch my video. 
Please remember to sign up for our newsletter, like us on Facebook, and follow us on our YouTube channel. Happy crafting!